uh, I was uh, informed by a gentleman in in, uh, in Australia a, um, a couple of months ago of a interesting film that had been created here in the United States that I did not know about. And uh, with uh, with your permission, sir, uh, I would uh, I, I would uh, show this short film to you. Position is absolutely granted. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> uh, this uh, this is a confluence of divergent times and disciplines. Uh, Forty-two years ago, uh, Apollo 11 landed on the moon. And this image that you see in front of you shows the last three and a half minutes uh, of uh, what that trajectory looked like over the actual craters that it flew. Um, at the, uh, the same time, uh, a new technology uh, appeared. Uh, this was Google Earth. Some of you have w observed your own house on Google Earth. Uh, there was a version of this called Google Moon, and it allowed you to uh, to investigate the moon in, uh, on your own computer and, and go where you'd like to see. A gentleman in Georgia, astronomer by trade, uh, took images from our most recent lunar exploring satellite, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which was launched two years ago with very good optics to completely map the surface of the moon with high quality images with resolutions of one half to one meter. Uh, the gentleman uh, took the images from uh, from the lunar, the LRO, the Lunar uh, Reconnaissance Observer, Observer, and patched them together using Google Moon. Google Moon allows you to uh, take a perspective uh, of, a, of the picture. This, this picture, the image in front of you is a perspective, but all the images taken by the satellite are vertical, straight down. So Google allows you to take a, a vertical image and convert it to a perspective as, as you see on this image. Uh, the gentleman patched together a myriad of images from different orbits of the LRO that passed over the uh, trajectory of the uh, uh, Apollo 11 descent and recreated the descent in a perspective mode. The uh, <clears throat> oh, okay. So, um, what we will the, the actual descent was 12 and a half minutes. Uh, this is the last three and a half minutes. It starts about uh, uh, 3,000 feet in altitude and, and continues all, all the way down to the surface. Uh, let's uh, go to the next slide, please. Eagle looking great. Uh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> on the left side of the screen, you will see the image that was taken by the uh, 16 millimeter movie camera located in a bracket in the right hand uh, window of the lunar module Eagle. And it, it shows the picture that has often been used in any, anyone who made films about uh, what happened on Apollo 11 and the lunar descent. The right-hand picture is composed of images from LRO in the last two years and the recreated the descent. So you see in the right-hand side of the picture uh, an image that accurately reflects what the crew, what we in, in the Lunar Module Eagle actually saw while we were going down. So the the the. The picture on the left is, 
is a rectangle uh, that's, that's skewed at 45 degrees roughly because that's the way it was mounted in the window. And it's partly blocked by structure of the lunar module, so it has a very limited field of view. The picture on the right shows the same uh, uh, angu angular uh, area that covered by the mo model, I mean, excuse me, covered by the, uh, by the uh, mo motion picture on the right. So you can compare the, the uh, crater, little crater on the left to the crater on the left. Let's see. That crater is the same as this crater here, and that crater is the one that's there. And you'll be able to see those comparison craters as you as you go down the trajectory all the way to the surface. <clears throat> okay, so let's start the video. Here you go. We'll, you'll hear the, the uh, sounds of the, my co-pilot giving me numbers, and you'll hear ground control at Houston uh, uh, responding to our, our uh, actions. Uh, we're descending at a rate of about 3,000 feet a minute. Uh, 35 degrees. The, uh, 35 degrees, 700 we've had com uh, coming down uh, to 23. Computer warnings uh, feet, rather frequently, the, our, but we're continuing on on autopilot. The autopilot tells us that we are going 540 feet down to, to the, uh, the, the autopilot is going to land us uh, close to the rim of that uh, large crater. I don't want to go there. It's, uh, it's steep sides and nine. we're flying over a uh, field of large boulders about the size of automobiles, not a good place to land at all. We tried to go out about a mile further to the west and, and find a smooth and level landing spot. There's more, more computer alarms, uh, but we're getting used to those for now. Uh, one and a half down. We, uh, we see a, a crater coming up uh, now on the top of the screen. It's about uh, 30 meters across, uh, about 100 feet, and uh, that's not good, but there looks like some level spots beyond that that are look good. Are running low on fuel because we're running, uh, we, we've extended our flight plan, our trajectory past the intended landing spot, but we still have about a minute of fuel left, and that uh, is, uh, we consider that to be adequate. That's a good looking crater, and, uh, and I, I want to go back there and, uh, and have a look at that if I get a chance later, and in fact I did. Uh, those, uh, the uh, landing area is. Uh, Right ahead, it looks feet, pretty good. There's little craters down, in there, forward. but uh, they look manageable. So uh, we're coming down low to the surface and starting to kick up a little dust at this point. You can see that in the left-hand side. But of course, the the Pick satellite forward. picture on the right from two years ago doesn't show blowing dust. Sixty seconds. Lights on. That, no, not, not down uh, two and a half. Now we're getting getting down. Uh, very low to the surface, Forward. dust, dust, uh, moving dust is in, increasing. Uh, 40 feet down, two and a half, picking up some dust. There you see the shadow of our lunar landing and leg uh, in the bottom of our spacecraft Four approaching the surface. Four forward, drift into the right and, uh, Ready? Down and a half, it's 30 seconds. Forward, just, uh, hey. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. We copy it down, Eagle. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. So, yay, yay. <laughs> what, you, what you see here, Mr. Chairman, is uh, one of the actual vertical pictures uh, taken, uh, taken of the spot where we landed. And of course, what you see is the descent stage of, of the Eagle. It contains the rocket engine that we use for the descent, the fuel for that engine, and the landing legs and some of our scientific equipment, which we left behind on the moon. Uh, so uh, a, a view into history through the modern, the views of modern technology. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.